Hi boys and girls, today we are going to be solving some math problems by making some tables. So let's read the first problem together and we are going to solve by using a table. Read with me. Kimmy bought a dog. It is wearing a collar. It has five brown spots and blue eyes. Which dog did she buy? So guys, we're trying to figure out which dog Kimmy bought. So let's go back to the question and underline the important parts. Kimmy bought a dog. Is that important? No. It is wearing a collar. Is that important? Yes. So we are going to underline that. It has five brown spots and blue eyes. Is that important? Yes, it is. We are going to underline that. And then guys, we are going to circle the question. Which dog did she buy? These are the dogs we are looking at. We have dog number one, dog number two, and dog number three. So over here on the chart where it says dog, we are going to put one, two, three. And we're making a chart to figure out which dog she bought. So now let's look and see which dogs are wearing a collar. Is dog number one wearing a collar? Yes. So we are going to put Yes. Is dog number two wearing a collar? Yes, it is. What about dog number three? No, he does not have a collar on. Let's look at the spots. In the question, it says that Kimmy's dog has five brown spots. Let's count the spots on the first dog. One, two, three, four, five. So the first dog has five spots. The second dog has one, two, three spots. And the third dog has one spot right here. Now we need to see if the dog has blue eyes. The first dog has blue eyes. The second dog has blue eyes. And the third dog has black eyes. So which dog did she buy? The first dog has a collar on, has five spots, and has blue eyes. So she bought this dog. Now let's solve another problem. Remember, it's always important to underline the important parts of the problem and circle the question. Read with me, Ratty. A first grade class collects 24 box tops. Is that important? Yes, so we are going to underline it. Let's read the next sentence. A second grade class collects 12 box tops. Is that important? Yes, so we need to underline it. And let's look at the question. How many more box tops did the first grade class collect? We are going to circle the question. And guys, while I'm circling the question, tell me, what does how many more tell us to do? That's right, how many more tells us to subtract. So now we need to look and see how many box tops first grade collected and second grade collected. So let's look back up here at our question. Down below we have a chart, and this is where we are going to collect our information. So first grade collected 24 box tops. And second grade collected 12 box tops. So what's the subtraction problem? 24 minus 12. And guys, subtracting is easier when we do it vertically, but what's very important is lining up your numbers. If you do not have the numbers lined up the right way, then you will get the answer wrong. So in the number 24, the 4 is in the 1's place, the 2 is in the 10's place. In the number 12, we have a 2 in the 1's place and a 1 in the 10's place. So my numbers are lined up and ready to subtract now.
4 minus 2. We always start from the right and move over to the left. So we're going to do 4 minus 2. Let's count backwards. Ready? 4, 3, 2. So 4 minus 2 is 2. And 2 minus 1 equals 1. So that means that first grade collected 12 more box tops than... Okay guys, so this problem is a little bit different um, with making our chart. So it says, count the animals, make a table. Use the table to answer the questions. So sometimes when we make our table or our chart, it's so that we can answer um, the questions. This table is going to help us answer the questions. So right here we have our animals listed. We have a horse, we have cows, pigs, ducks, roosters, cats, dogs, sheep, and donkeys in this photo over here. And we are going to count how many of those animals are in the picture. So first let's look at the horse. How many horses do you see? One. How many cows are there? One, two. How many pigs do you see? One. How many ducks? One, two, three, four. Count how many roosters you see? One, two. How many cats are there? There's one cat. There's one dog. One sheep. And one donkey. Alright guys, so now we know how many animals of each type of animal there are. So now let's look at the question. How many more ducks than cows are there? So this is where our chart is going to help us. We need to come over here and we see that we have four ducks. So let's write a four down here. And it wants to know how many more. How many more tells us to do what? Mm -hmm. That's right, it tells us to subtract. So if we want to figure out how many more ducks than cows there are, we know there are four ducks. We are going to minus and there are two cows. Guys, what is 4 minus 2? Let's count backwards. Ready? 4, 3, 2. 4 minus 2 equals 2. So there are 2 more ducks than there are cows. And let's look at the second question. How many animals are there in all? And guys, the words in all tells us to add. So we are going to be adding all of these numbers together. So 1 plus 2 equals 3, plus 1 equals 4, plus 4 equals, count on with me, ready, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 plus 2 more, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So how many animals are there in all? There's 14. Let's look at another problem. So it says, Paul, Sophia, and... Let's look at another problem. Read it with me. Paul, Sophia, and Leon each have a pet. Is that important? No, we do not need to underline that. The pets are a dog, a fish, and a bird. Is that important? Yes, that is important, so we need to underline it. Let's read the next sentence. Sophia's pet has four legs. Is that important? Yes. Paul's pet has zero legs. Is that important? Yes. Leon's pet has two legs. Is that important? Yes, it is. So, guys, if you look at the chart, the question is, Whose pet is a bird? So now what we are going to do is figure out whose um, pet 
is which pet. So we need to look at the number of legs that each pet has. So let's look at Paul. Go back in the question and figure out how many legs Paul's pet has. Here's the sentence. Paul's pet has zero legs. So guys, which animal has zero legs? A dog, a fish, or a bird? A fish. So Paul has a fish. Okay, let's look at Sophia's. Right here it says, Sophia's pet has four legs. So which animal has four legs? A dog, a fish, or a bird? A dog. And Leon's pet has two legs. Which pet would have two legs? A dog, a fish, or a bird? That's right, a bird. So whose pet is a bird? Who bought the bird? That's right, Leon bought the bird. So the answer would be Leon. Okay guys, let's do some more problem solving. Remember, underline the important parts of the problem and circle the question. There are three baskets. Do you think that's important? Yes, let's underline it. Each basket has five Easter eggs inside. Is that important? Yes, underline it. How many Easter eggs are there in all? Let's circle the question. Okay guys, so one thing that really helps when you are solving problems is to draw a picture of the problem. So how many baskets does it say we have? Three baskets, right here, three baskets. So we are going to draw one, two, three baskets. And each basket has how many Easter eggs? It has five Easter eggs. So we are going to draw five eggs inside, ready? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay guys, so now we have the picture. And each basket has five eggs inside. So to make this easier, to find out how many Easter eggs there are in all, in all tells us that we are going to add. So guys, we can count by fives because each basket has five eggs in them. So what helps me is to point to the basket that has the five eggs as I'm counting. Ready? Count by fives with me. Five, 10, 15. So how many Easter eggs are there in all? That's right, there's 15. So we want to write there are 15 eggs in all. Okay guys, let's look at this problem. It says, John ate 10 pickles. Is that important? Yes, We're, we are going to underline it. Jacob ate two pickles. Is that important? Yes. Let's look at the question. How many more pickles did John eat than Jacob? Let's circle the question. While we're circling the question, guys, what does how many more tell us to do? When something is asking how many more, that means they want us to subtract. So John ate how many pickles? He ate 10 pickles. So we're going to do 10, subtract, and Jacob ate how many pickles? Two pickles. So we are doing 10, subtract, two. 
So we need to figure out how many more pickles John ate than Jacob. So guys, since we're um, subtracting within 10, let's use a tens frame. I'm going to draw one on here for us. Okay, so here's 10 pickles, okay? So we know a tens frame is worth 10. When we take away 2, I'm just going to put an X over 2, how many pickles would be left? Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 10 minus 2 equals 8. So how many more pickles did John eat than Jacob? He ate 8 more. So John ate 8 more pickles. Then Jacob. Okay, guys, let's look at one more problem. It says there are four apple trees. Is that important? Yes, let's underline it. There are seven peach trees. Do you think that's important? Let's underline it. And then it says there are nine orange trees. So let's underline that. Here's the question. How many apple and peach trees are there all together? So all together tells us to do what? The word all together tells us that we need to add. But look here. They're trying to trick you in this question. Does it say anything in this question about the orange trees? No, it says apple and peach trees. So how many apple trees were there? There were four apple trees. And how many peach trees? Seven. So we are going to do four plus seven. Let's draw out the picture. Remember, drawing the picture can help you. So we have four. One, two, three, four plus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Count these with me, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So four plus seven equals eleven. So there are eleven apple and peach trees all together. Drawing out the picture always helps you. Great job today, guys. Thanks for watching.